Okay. Okay. Mic check one, two, one, two. I am the Y2K Collector and I am back. Happy holidays, everyone. It is Black Friday week. I guess this is the week that's going to be starting Black Friday deals. Uh, this week is the week of Black Friday, and I'm excited because that means there's more opportunities uh, for us to take advantage of some steals and deals. And I've got a whole bunch of them to go over with you today because I've had some serious, serious luck at thrift stores, at vintage shops, at pawn shops. It's just been uh, a lot of luck for me and i uh, definitely want to share that also want to talk about some really great finds that i found at gamestop and some more 50 percent off deals that i'm taking advantage of but i don't want to do too much jabbering or blabbering and i want to dive right into it so that we can see some of that goodness so i'm gonna start off with some of this gamestop goodness because we know um, that's the all the craze right now with black friday so i'm going to run through some of these here so first up we've got Got Ninja Turtles Kawabunga Collection. I did get this for the Switch. Everybody knows about that. That one is very popular right now. Uh, and then I also, this was at a GameStop. They had some PS3 games there. And this was one that I did not have yet. So I picked up a copy of Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And I've never owned this Ninja Gaiden game. I do have a couple other Ninja Gaiden games on the PS3, but this one I did not have. And for 10 bucks, I went ahead and took advantage of that. Uh, next up, can you believe it? 50 cents. Yes, you can get games for 50 cents at GameStop. And that's what this bad boy was. Picked up a copy of Doom VR edition. So Doom 3 uh, on the PS4 for 50 stinking cents. You can't beat that, man. So definitely got that. Was glad to add that one to the collection. Then they also had as a part of the 50% off clearance uh, Tribes of Midgard. So a little $5 pickup there. Um, not mad at that on the PS4. And that was a game that I had had my eye on for quite some time, but just never got around to picking it up. All right, next up. We already saw this on the Switch, but I did, had to get it for the PS4. That's Turtles Cowabunga Collection. This is actually 20 bucks, brand new, right now at GameStop. That is part of their uh, Black Friday promotion, so definitely want to take advantage of that. Another uh, $20 game here is Spider-Man, and this is the Game of the Year edition. So if you don't have Spider-Man on PS4, it's only 20 bucks right now. Definitely go ahead and grab that. And that was at Best Buy, actually. You got three Best Buy pickups here as well. Totally forgot about that. Here's another one. Horizon uh, Forbidden West. Um, I played Horizon Zero Dawn and just the graphics the story. It's a little, a little bit too cinematic for me, but I did like the game. So I definitely got Forbidden West because I've heard a lot of good things about that one as well. And that one is half off as well. Best Buy. And then I think this is one of the Black Friday deals as well. I think this is either 10 bucks or 15 bucks, And that is... Uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate on the PS4. So this is another Black Friday deal. I think this one was 15. So definitely go ahead and take it, take advantage of that. That is at Best Buy. So if you haven't stopped by there, definitely check it out. And then another GameStop, just going back to GameStop here, uh, Wii U pickup. Don't really see a lot of Wii U games anymore at GameStop, but they had this Mario Party 10 on the wii u so i went ahead and picked that up while i was there mainly because it was a very clean copy complete in box don't really see that often anymore and then last but not least when it comes to the playstation 4 this one is a gem i'm glad i got this stranger things 3. now i actually got into the stranger things series over this past summer and after watching like season one, I was kind of addicted. I mean, that's a really good show. I'm looking forward to the next, uh, I guess the next season. Uh, definitely can't wait to check that out. But Stranger Things 3, this is kind of like an isometric beat em up, which is really cool. So definitely uh, excited about that. All right, now I wanna transition to some thrift and vintage stuff, right? So definitely got to hit up a few, a few vintage stores, a few thrift shops, and I'm gonna kind of blow through some of these because I happened to walk into a vintage store and lo and behold, they had a table jam packed with NES and Super NES games, mostly NES. Now, if you follow the channel, you know that I've recently picked up an NES not too long ago, and I didn't really have any games to test it out with. So <laughs> it was just my luck that I rolled into that uh, vintage store and they had a bunch of NES games. So I'm gonna go through, I didn't buy them all, 
I did ask them for a price for all of them, but the price was too high. So I only picked out the ones that I wanted and I'll go through them with you now. So first up, we've got a copy of Dick Tracy on the NES. So really cool game. My cousins had that on the on the Genesis. Next up, we've got uh, Tiger Hell on the NES. This is like a shoot 'em up on the NES. Uh, then we've got another shoot 'em up. Y'all know I love my shoot 'em ups. Sky Shark on the NES. So this is another shoot 'em up here. Got that. Uh, next up, we've got this is a cool one. Capcom, you know, Capcom's good for that. Uh, we've got The Little Mermaid by Capcom. Capcom makes some really great games. So excited to check this one out. So The Little Mermaid. Uh, and then next up, we've got Strider. Strider on the NES. And uh, this is another cool one. Uh, I've got Strider on the Genesis, but they had it there. It was a part of the bundle deal that they sold me, so take advantage of that. Next up, here's a classic, Super Mario Bros. 2 on the NES. So that was a, and all of these are clean, like super clean. The labels are super clean. I don't know, this must have been a collector, but glad I found them. Here's another one, uh, Back to the Future on the NES. Another really cool, cool one there for the uh, Nintendo. Uh, another classic here, Dr. Mario on the NES. So that was also part of that bundle. And then last but not least, I think we've got like a three pack here, a three for one, which is uh, Super Mario Bros, Duck Hunt, and Track Meet on the NES. So got a bunch of really cool uh, NES games to add to the collection. And really looking forward to diving into some of those because like I said, I like my shoot 'em ups. It's not a bunch of like junky NES games. Those are actually really good. So happy to dive into that. All right, last but not least, we're gonna dive into some of these thrift store pickups that I got and I'm so stoked right so happened to walk into my local thrift store and they didn't have a ton of games but I did notice that they had some consoles and one that actually took me by surprise so I first walked in and I saw that they had this guy there which is a really good condition PS2 Slim. I feel like in 2022, I ran into about five of these. I just keep running into PS2 Slims. And they had this here. It also had, it's pretty good condition. Like if you look at it, um, the back was a little, the, the back port for the AV, the back AV port was a little damaged, but I was able to fix that. And uh, pretty good condition. Had a cheap baseball game inside, nothing to write home about. But more importantly, I, I don't know, at this, thrift store I think they they can't tell the difference between PlayStation controllers and they keep bundling uh, PS4 let me get this in focus there we go so they keep bundling PS4 controllers with the PS2 I guess they they don't realize that this is not a PS2 controller but I'll take a PS4 controller any day and uh, they bundled that with the PS2 so that was a great deal and then along with that they also had a PS2 memory card um, these aren't let me get this in focus here hang on so the memory cards aren't super expensive, but they they can cost a little bit. And it's always good to get like a, a OEM PS2 memory card. So really cool to find that. And then the pickup of the day, I was getting ready to leave the thrift store and out of the corner of my eye, lo and behold, I, th I, I thought I saw like a little silver box. And I was like, that can't be what I think it is. But folks, of course it was. And it happened to be a, a darn near brand new GameCube. Um, had a GameCube sitting on the shelf and took it home and this is it right here. This is the GameCube. Uh, this GameCube was, I wanna say, in like new condition. Usually when I pick up consoles from this store, there's usually dust. I usually see dust in, in the ports, you know, usually in the where the air vents are, there's usually dust in there, but this thing had n zero dust, no dust. It had all of the pieces to the bottom. Um, next to no scratches on it. I mean, this thing was like in mint, mint condition and it was a part of the thrift store discount. Only bad thing about this GameCube is that it doesn't have the uh, digital AV port. It's only got the analog AV port. So that is the only bummer. But still, finding a GameCube for 20, 20 bucks or so is not a bad deal, especially when it's brand new. And last but not least, you know I love my handhelds and I had this one on the table, but ran into this guy. 
wound, wound up getting a teal Game Boy Color. These are very hard to come by in good condition. Either the back is missing, uh, you know, it's missing stickers, but this one had the back and all of the stickers. So really good condition. And that does it for this week's pickups. Let me know what you're seeing out there this Black Friday. There's a lot of great deals to take advantage of. I am the Y2K Collector. Take it easy. Thank you.